All right, so our purpose now is the third and final step of finishing our bowl, and that is to make the bottom look presentable and to make this tenon either go away or to reshape it. For example, we want this to look like this. The way we do that is pretty simple. I set my vessel face up, usually right on the lathe, take the, the uh, long worth, hold it parallel to the ground, shake it so everything moves nice and freely, put my chuck right over the vessel, and then just at this point go finger tight. Then we want to reach down, stabilize the bolt, and spin the wing nuts finger tight. And you want to do this in a crisscross pattern, just like with, if you were tightening up a car wheel. And at this point, all we're trying to do is get this finger tight. By the way, this entire process shouldn't take more than about three minutes. So there we go, we're finger tight. Now it's gonna hold the vessel. You'll notice on the back that the mounting plate is designed to go right straight back in the chuck. What you don't have to do is change jaws. There is a type of chuck on the market where you actually pull the jaws out screw four different jaws on here and then try to figure out where to put the buttons. This one just goes right in the chuck like that. If you happen to have a four jaw chuck with dovetail jaws, there is a dovetail groove here that will seat everything uh, properly. If you have a one way or an apprentice or uh, something like that with the straight jaws, then it works on that uh, just as well. This is universally compatible with any four jaw chuck, just using the standard number two jaws that they come with. So now that we have uh, our chuck assembly installed, we need to go back and do our final tight. We'll do that, and what works best for me is the T-handled Allen wrench that comes with my chuck. So I'll just hold the wing nut with my left hand use the Allen wrench and take three full turns or six half turns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's three full turns. Now it's important the sequence that we tighten these up. So we want to alternate just like we would on a car wheel. So we did this one, let's do the opposite. And in my case, works better if I just, uh, just spin it to the top. Half, one, half, two, half, three. Then we'll go over here, opposite. Half, one, half, two, half, three. The one below that is here. Half, one, half, two, half, three. So I've done four of them. Now just move over one peg and do the same thing. Half, one, half, two, half, three. The one opposite that is here. And by the way, you can tell that this is just tapered and this one is bulged. Which brings me to why this technology works. Half, one, half, two, half, three. Half, one, half, two, half, three. And this is our last one. Half one, half two, half three. If you have cold jaws or any of the other chucks that have the hard black rubber buttons with the steel liner, those are designed to grip differently than these are. These we get finger tight and then as they mushroom out, when this expands, it expands against the bottom and that squeezes it. You squeeze this from eight different directions and you're on there pretty good. So that's really what does the holding. Okay, there's one other thing that's critically important here because of the technology. I designed this chuck to be kind and gentle to the bowl. I was sick to death of turning a bowl and then having the chuck eat it up where I ended up having a whole lot of hand finishing work to do because my chuck inflicted damage to the bowl. So what we did is make our buttons soft so they're kind and gentle to the bowl. What that does is it allows some vibration and some chatter 
when you're working up high if you don't use the tailstock. So I want everybody to bring the tailstock up, put a little pressure in here, that kills all the vibration. Uh, it traps the vessel so it can't come out. You're not going to have it fly across the room and break into a lot of pieces. Bring your, uh, your tool rest over here and work down as far as possible. You can get all the way down to that last little nub in the middle. When you've done that, take the tailstock away and just work on this. And that way, you'll be able to finish the bowl bottom. You can sand it, you can apply the finish, you can shape it however you want to shape it without losing the vessel because it comes off the lathe and breaks. Your long width chuck is versatile. Here we show it in a compression grip, just like you grip the inside of the jaws. But what if you have a vessel where the sides slope in? You can't grip that on the outside. So what do you do? You would do the same thing with this chuck that you would do with your regular four jaw, and that is you use it in expansion mode. Just open it up like so, grip your little cap on the inside and work on the, the wing nuts out here and they will expand, the buttons will expand and mushroom out inside just like they did on the outside.